You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. All right, well, neighbors say they had no idea what was going on right under their noses. They described the homeowner, Ariel Castro, as a friendly, charismatic guy who liked to play with the kids in the neighborhood. And the hero neighbor who helped rescue the women said he and Castro had barbecued together in the backyard and he never suspected a thing. An uncle says that Castro had worked as a school bus driver. Well, one of the first people to react to the story in Cleveland was victims' rights advocate John Walsh. Yeah, his son was murdered in 1981, and he's the creator of America's Most Wanted. Last night, he summed up the feelings of so many. I wanted to do cartwheels. I know what it's like not to know where your child is. I, I went through that horrible pain. Here's Charles Ramsley walking home, as he said so succinctly, I'm a black guy, I saw a white woman help, uh, crying for help, and I went to help her and broke her out. Amanda Berry saved her life, two other women's lives, and their child. And Charles Ramsey is the guy that broke him out of that house of horrors. I, if I ever meet him, I'm going to give him the biggest hug. Victims' rights advocate John Walsh there. Of course, the case in Cleveland reminds us of other incidents of long-term captivity like that of J.C. Dugard. She had been missing for 18 years when she was found in 2009. And coincidentally, Dugard is being honored tonight by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. It's Hope Awards recognizing those who work to protect kids.